Yeah. Glenn is in the newsroom with the details. Glenn. Hey, good morning, ladies. Now we're finding out that the suspect involved in yesterday's shooting was once a student at Covenant School. And as officers are still investigating this tragedy, police are telling us there was evidence left behind that shows that this attack was planned out. We have a manifesto. We have some writings that we're going over uh, that uh, pertain to this day, the actual incident. We have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. The chief of police described evidence left behind after yesterday's attack on Covenant Presbyterian School in Nashville. The surveillance video captured the moments it all started with a 28 year old transgender woman and former student shooting out the glass doors of the school, then walking through halls, even going in offices, pointing the assault style weapon. In total, six victims were killed. They have been identified as nine year olds Evelyn Dykehouse, Hallie Scruggs and William Kinney. 61 year old Cynthia Peake, a substitute teacher. 60-year-old Katherine Kuntz, the head of the school, and 61-year-old Mike Hill, who was a custodian. A team of five officers responded to the school around 10:15 yesterday morning, the shooter firing at them from the second floor window, one of those bullets going through a squad car. When the officers got to the second level, they saw a shooter, a female, who was firing. The officers engaged her. She was fatally shot. It was these two Nashville police officers who were able to shoot and kill that suspect. Police released photos of the two assault style weapons and handgun the suspect used to carry out her attack. And as the country grapples with another school shooting, we were able to hear from a victim of the Highland Park parade shooting. Ashby Beasley was in Nashville vacationing when she spoke to reporters at the scene. I have met with over 130 lawmakers. How is this still happening? How are our children still dying and why are we failing them? And police did uh, execute a search warrant of the suspect's home and found more weapons, including an assault off shotgun and a second handgun. But so far, they have not released a motive for this attack. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we receive more. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio.